Hi everyone, I'm Patricia Trurio and I'm the founder of The World's Corner. And today we have the honor of interviewing our great friend and artisan partner, Anita Cortez from Guatemala. And we were able to connect and just learn a little bit about her story and also about the amazing project that she's doing in Guatemala to support her community. Um, Anita, I want to tell you again how much I admire you. I think you're doing an incredible work and I'm just so in awe of everything that you're doing. So I'm, I'm really thankful for what you do and thank you for taking the time. I know today has been <laughs> a little bit <laughs> crazy. <laughs> yes. So thank you again for taking the time and, and for doing this. Um, but I want uh, you to share your story and just let everyone know a little bit about yourself and, and what led you to start the cooperative and your cooking classes in, in Lake Atitlan and just a little bit about yourself. Okay, so hi everybody and uh, hello Patricia again. It is a real privilege, it's a big privilege for me to uh, have been invited by your uh, project and it is a honor for me to share with everybody about my community. I am Anita. I am 32 years old. I am a single mother. I have two beautiful children, uh, 10 years old Emerson and Casey. She is uh, three years old. So I am uh, uh, from San Pedro La Laguna, Lake Atitlan in Sololá, uh, uh, from Guatemala. So here um, I am, uh, this, this town in San Pedro where is where I born and I grew up. And um, I am really so grateful first to God that he allows me to uh, have this uh, skill to how to speak in a good uh, English because I consider that it's a, um, a, a gift uh, from God, from destiny, from uh, uh, because I have a specific purpose in my life. So I've been doing uh, my projects. I am running with two of them. One is uh, uh, running with a cooperative of 27 women. Uh, basically, this uh, project it's been open to support single mothers because, uh, as I said, it's one of the um, hard life that I've been struggling with. I know that being as a single mother everywhere, it's very hard. But uh, living the small towns, like indigenous towns, it's uh, it's worst, believe me. But uh, when you, uh, when somebody else is give up and they're facing up with all of this situation, I know first God will uh, give you uh, a blessing, but also he is connecting us with the specific people that they are giving us an opportunity. Like, what are you doing today for me? It's uh, an opportunity to be introduced to all of you and also have this opportunity to introduce my community and my projects to all of you. So the second project that I am running with, it's a uh, providing cooking classes, teaching uh, Mayan uh, food to the tourism. I was very dependent of the tourists, the, the tourism in the lake. But since this uh, big uh, situation that we are facing up, all of us, it's um, been a little bit hard for us. But uh, I uh, always think about my projects, specifically my single mothers. So the reason that I started to running with a co-op uh, became five years ago or six years ago exactly. So it was to be able to empower and encourage uh, these women. So if I could, facing up with all of the struggling, my story, it's really, really long, but we don't have time to share with you all of this. But if you are interested, Patricia, probably, yeah. she will uh, organize a meeting or something like that, that I would love to share with all of you but uh, like a resume of this it's uh, to support and empower them tell them that with just uh, an opportunity we can uh, together we can support each other so 
that it's me. So this is what I am doing over here. And now with these two projects, I have been making a good connection with people all over the world. So I got uh, two months ago, a couple who donated 400 US dollars to me. They asked me to use for my family and my, uh, or myself, or if I wanted to donate to other families that I know that they really need it. So they gave me that, uh, that, uh, that amount of money, but I decided to donate these 400 US dollars to support four families. Mm -hmm. So after I did that, I buy to these four people a, a basket of food, enough food for a two, two weeks, um, to survive so i sent picture to them and they liked the idea so they started to be on my side to start supporting not only four people by this time we've been uh, supporting around 500 families around the lake atitlan specifically yesterday i was in san pablo so where we donated more than 100 baskets to these families and uh, thursday i was here in San Pedro, uh, supporting families from San Pedro and San Juan. So, mm -hmm. as I said, my story is very long, but <laughs> I wanted to make it as, as short as I can. So that mm -hmm. is my introduction. It's amazing. Thank you, Anita. And tell us a little bit, you mentioned, um, you know, how the situation has impacted the tourism um, industry in uh, Lake Atitlan. So tell us a little bit how that has impacted you as a business and also your community to the people that you support? Well, it's been a, a impacted everybody. As I said, I know that all over the world, this pandemia, it's, it is very hard. But believe me, where I am living, uh, I don't want to say that I am, a, I am extremely poor or I am begging. Personally, I am okay with my two kids. So, but the problem it's with the local people. So I can say that I was, I am one of the most privileged girl in the town. So that it's a, I just consider that my life, it's a, it has a specific purpose, which is to support other families, other people, local people. So um, specifically, uh, there is a, a group of people or men that they are basically a surviving uh, to become being a farmer. See, we call them jornaleros. The jornaleros, which means you work every day. So you are dependent of each day. If you don't have a work uh, for the day, so then you don't have any money. And specifically the hard time that we are passing through this, uh, week, uh, this kind of weekends, we are in a, a 40, 48 hours of curfew. So you can imagine, there is no work, but if they can do something, so we are close to have this opportunity. One, two, this kind of people, the jornaleros or farmers, they are only earning 40 US, uh, I mean 40 Q, so which is like a seven to eight US dollars okay. per day. But you can imagine to survive with that amount of money, having five, six, or leaving eight people in one family, it, is became, it became very hard. And those other people that they are, specifically those single mothers who are working to clean in hotels or restaurants, so they just stay since this uh, pandemic introduced here so uh, it was a shock but basically mostly of them they were cut off from their job without any benefit so so that it's a uh, the problem they just say they the owners they just hear about this pandemic they said okay so we don't have any more work for you so please we don't have a uh, work so you won't work anymore like that yeah. so no benefits no bonus nothing and they are uh, mostly of the families they are like a uh, uh, progressing but uh, building a house or doing something but with loans into the bank now they have these payments waiting for that plus their they need to feed their families no work it's so hard yeah. so as i said 
personally, uh, it became a, a problem for me about my job. So I am not working. I am not doing a, a, like for almost a month and a half. I didn't do nothing. But now uh, I, we got an idea to offering cooking classes online, which would be very supportive for me. And uh, in that way, we can keep uh, supporting our families uh, in our communities to keep, to keep giving them uh, the basket of food. And uh, the big uh, uh, situation that I am struggling with now are my 27 women. Yes. That their products, uh, they are in stock in our small uh, store. Uh, we, the store is full with products, but there is no people that they wanted to buy. So this is why Patricia wanted to partnership with us. I am really, really uh, super thankful for what are you doing and introducing uh, our project to or to the other side of the world. Thank you very much, Patricia. <laughs> no, no, thank you. you. You have beautiful products. And I think uh, the most beautiful thing is, is the story behind it too. It's how you're supporting yourself, uh, your family, and so many other people in your community too. So that product has a huge story and a huge impact every time you make a, a purchase. So. I, I'm, I love that we're able to partner and that we're working together on this. Anita, and tell us, you mentioned also how you're doing the cooking classes online as well, which I did one <laughs> earlier this week. Thank it was you. awesome. <laughs> Best guacamole ever. <laughs> I'm um, glad to hear that. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so you're doing the cooking classes, but you have another project coming up. So tell us a little bit about that and uh, we'll make sure to continue promoting and sharing that information as well. But why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Yes. So as I said, thank you for being interested to support this uh, group of women that I am running with. So personally, I started being like a, a working online, but I always think about them. So I uh, I was thinking to make a catalog of uh, their products and the to start this uh, project, uh, I would like to test or to have the first experience, which is uh, um, I donated two of my cortes. So cortes is uh, the, the skirt of the Mayan people. So they okay. are very large. Oh. So I am cutting them and making small pieces where which will become uh, napkins. Mm -hmm. So as I been uh, learned from my dad and my family, if you want to eat something uh, or if you have a, if you if you wanna eat a fruit of uh, of a tree, you need to plant the first seed the seed first and then taking care of that so i always try to be the first person who is going to donate and do the the first thing then uh, other people will follow us so now i am going to send a around of a hundred 100 uh, packs of uh, napkins so to be grateful to the people who are being donating for these projects yeah. so also uh, i think it's necessary to be grateful to a uh, everything that is happening and to the people that they are surrounding us. So just to be grateful, we would like to uh, give to every don donate do donor mm -hmm. uh, a set of napkins or an apron. So just to be grateful for a, the, a donation of 50 US dollars that we can buy uh, uh, around two baskets uh, yes, two baskets of, for 50 US dollars. So we can uh, keep supporting that. And if this uh, experience will work, then we will start buying the fabric from our women. In that way, we can keep them working and keep them giving them a, an opportunity to keep uh, uh, supporting their families too so just a little bit about the story of the the, the work that we're doing 
we are uh, 27 women that we want to support, uh, I mean, uh, to conserve the um, technique of our old ancestors. So our products are 100% cotton. Also, we use silk and also we use uh, a bamboo fiber. So we are making our own thread, dyeing with natural colors, as using a uh, flowers, vegetables, fruits, bark of the trees, and then weaving on the back strap plume. So later we will share some pictures as we were talking about that. So you will be able to see our the whole process um, one day that when we make the live uh, uh, video with Patricia too. So that is what uh, would be my next project. So I hope uh, some of you, if you if you are able to support, that would be very very helpful for these uh, small villages. Yeah, and I, I want to note also that you've been able to help about five hundred families already, right? In the mm -hmm. Not just your community, but in other villages around you. And it's only been like eight weeks, so two months that you've been doing that, the fundraising and um, buying the food, putting everything together and giving them to the family. So that's, that's an amazing accomplishment. Yeah. Yes. So as I said, I can't do this without uh, the support of you. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, it's not me. I am not doing this only Anita. It's uh, all over the world of my friends. So it became a uh, very support. Uh, uh, we got a lot of support. So and these people that uh, they really trust in me. And as I said, I am a, a very scared of God, so he's watching all over to me. So it's important to do the good things specifically in this hard time. So yes, I am, a, 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 it's been like 10 weeks now. So every a, 15 days we're donating a, to people from San Pedro. So some, I was, going to decide that at the beginning just to support 100, uh, 150 families like during this uh, hard time. Mm -hmm. But then uh, I've been seeing in my town that other projects that they are supporting. So probably we support it today, the next couple of days, another project will give them something else. So this is why I decided to go in San Juan and San Pablo and look for more families that we can uh, support so that it's the, the the reason that we started donating to more families and as i said this is what we're doing now yeah well thank you so much anita for for everything that you do because you're an inspiration to me you're an inspiration to many people and um thank you for for what you're doing for your strength and resilience um, I definitely, I, I'm excited for everything that we're doing. Uh, we've been, I mean, in touch for so many years, or I think it's been like a year or two. And, you know, we've always, I, I was planning to visit you this year. And because of everything, um, it hasn't happened, but I feel that we've been able to connect and collaborate in other ways. And I think that's the power of everything that's happening, you know, how everyone is coming together to support each other. So. Thank you. Thank you, Anita. And uh, you. We'll, be, we'll be in touch. We'll keep doing more things and, and continue sharing what you're doing um, in yeah. the Atitlan. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you very much. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>